Welcome back to another Texel Outdoors video. A subscriber recently asked for another catch and cook, so we're gonna change it up and we're gonna try something a little different. We've never done this. We're gonna try and do a crawfish catch and cook. So we'll bring it along and see how it goes. There's one. There's one. Doubled up. We doubled up. Oh, God. No. 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 George. All right, guys. Before we get into the video, I just want to make a real quick little announcement. We're uh, in a partnership with a new company, and that company is Free Range Trading Post. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of them before, but Free Range Trading Post is a, comp is a company owned and operated by a couple fellow YouTubers. Uh, they're op operated by a couple members of the Guggen Squad. I'm sure you guys have heard of them. And they're also operated by a fellow YouTuber named Outlaw. Uh, they're both uh, outdoor channels just like us. And we're pretty happy to partner up with them because their main product is coffee. They also make apparel, but their main product is coffee. And a lot of you guys know that coffee plays a key role in getting up in the mornings and getting out there on the creek and getting out there in a blind or hunting stand, whatever you're doing. So we also are happy to announce that you guys can go get their coffee with, with our code for 10% off. So we're gonna help you guys out a little bit so you guys can go get some of this free range Trading Post coffee. They got tons of flavors. We actually got this uh, sampler pack here that they sent us. Four different flavors in there just to get a little taste for it a little bit. There's a bunch of different flavors they have that you won't get in the sampler pack. So we're excited to try out a lot of them. We've already tried the Freedom Roast, which we really like. And they also make like a duck blind roast, I think, that's made by Flair, and that's pretty good. So, go get 10% off with our code THO2020. I'll leave a link in the description. You can go get 10% off and get your own coffee and try them out. It's pretty good, and you're helping out our channel by doing this. So, we just wanted to make that little quick announcement for you guys and hook you guys up with some great coffee. So, now we'll get into the video. All right, guys, we actually already caught, I think, seven crawfish. Sorry about the creek. It's kind of loud, but we caught about seven. And what we were going to do today was we were going to wear the GoPros and film us, you know, just catching crawfish. But turns out we didn't even have the GoPros to begin with. Like, apparently, we left them at home. So we're not going to be able to get any crawfish on film that way i might film cody a little bit going through there trying to catch some we've actually got some pretty good size ones and what we've actually we're up here today for is we're actually building a building two dams for uh cody's boss his in-laws need the water dammed up a little bit for their water system so we got this dam right behind us that we just built and it's pretty good so what we were doing was we we're flipping rocks for the dam picking them up and stuff and then we we're just scooping under them for crawfish so we've already got seven eaters we've caught a lot more but we're only keeping the big ones eat so we'll go down here and show you the other dam and then we'll show you all the crawfish we caught and i'm gonna film cody for a little bit and hopefully get a crawfish on film and then i think we're gonna go to wise and get some ingredients maybe a couple side dishes we might do a little boil maybe with some corn on the cob potatoes maybe some kielbasa or something like that we're not sure yet might not even do that much but we're gonna go down here and show you guys these crawfish we have and we're gonna try to get cody on film catching one all right guys so we're down here we're at the second dam i don't know if you can see it we it was actually this one was kind of like there was almost nothing there i don't know if it it happened during a flood or what but there was almost nothing there so we had to completely rebuild that one but we uh we got seven crawfish here and jacob actually has one i don't know if you guys they're all pretty good size, pretty good eating size. And here's, there's the rest of them in there. I don't know if you guys can see that. We just got them in one of these little, you know, minnow buckets with a little aerator. Turning it on and off just so we don't waste the battery too much. But they're living pretty good in there. But we're gonna, 
we're gonna head down a creek and we're gonna work our way up and see if we can get some more crawfish on film well guys we just double teamed a huge crawfish i uh flipped a very big rock and Cody, I thought he, he started screaming. I thought he pulled out like 10 crawfish, but he just pulled out one massive one. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, flip him over, I'll grab him. Dude, he's mad, he's mad too. He pinched at me. Yeah, I know, he's pinching his pinchers. He's stuck in there now. You gotta get him on his back. When you guys are grabbing crawfish, you just grab them right behind the head on their back and their pinchers won't be able to reach you. But this guy's huge. Yeah. And he's got some long arms. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow, guys. <laughs> He's a monster. I don't even know how if you guys can tell, but that is a huge crawfish. Oh yeah, we're gonna get some claw meat out of that guy right there. Put him in the bucket. Holy cow. Put him in there and see what he looks like. Look with at all that the other dinosaur. Ones. Yeah. We'll show you in comparison to the other ones. There he goes. You see that? Look at that. Hopefully you don't eat any of them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go get some more. That's a lobster. Yeah. Well, we, we flipped a big rock, and I stuck the net under and caught one, and Jacob saw one. Didn't even have time to take mine out of the net. And he stuck it down there and swiped up another one. So there's two, two, some rocks. two eaters. I think we got about 10 now. So we're trying to get at least a dozen. We'll go over a dozen if we can. It's just fun to scavenge like this and... Get your own food, make it home. It's a lot of fun, and I'm excited to try them. Well, Jacob caught another nice one here. Big claws, big tail, good eating one. Yep. There's one. Oh, is it an eater? No, I don't think it's a keeper. Oh, there's a little one in there. Sorry, I wasn't filming you. I was waiting on this rock. Okay. You want me to grab him? Dang it, I'm stuck in his arm. There he is, guys. Throw him back. Usually we didn't even think about, at the beginning, we probably would have thought about it, but now we got all these huge ones. He's going back. Cody just caught his PB, guys. Oh yeah. Right. Oh, he dropped it. Dang it, dude! We didn't get a we didn't get a scale on him. All right, guys. We've got about 15 crawfish in the bucket right now. I'm trying to catch a couple more, and then we'll be out of here. So I'm gonna try to get Cody on film one more time, catching some, just so we can make this a real catch and cook. So I'm gonna film him for a little bit here and see if he can get any more. All right, so we got a big rock right here with a ledge, and this is exactly what you're going to want to look for when you're catching crawfish. So you want to stick your net under here under the ledge. Scoop underneath there. There's one right there. Crawfish and yeah. a hogamite in one, one scoop. Oh, yeah. Scoop. That's the hogamite right there, and that's the crawfish over there. These things are great smallmouth bait. But man, do they hurt when they latch on to you. Oh, yeah. So, that None one's, that one's too small to eat. Yeah, throw them back. Let them go. But yeah, guys, we're working our way upstream, not downstream. And we're flipping any rocks that we can find with ledges. That's all we're doing. So, there's your tip for catching crawfish. Jacob caught another massive one. That is a big one. It'll be good eating. That's oh, yeah. a nice big tail there. Well, I think we got about maybe 20 in there or so. Not really sure. But it's only 10.30 right now in the morning, so we're going to head to Wise maybe. Might have to go home and get our money and head to Wise. Go get some other stuff to eat with these guys, and then we'll go home and cook them up. All right, guys, just went to the grocery store. Picked up some potatoes. Got some kibasi. We got some sweet corn here, lemon, Old Bay, some whole salt, and so we got some garlic pepper. We're gonna season up some water here. We're gonna get some water boiling and season it up. 
And most of these crawfish are alive. I think they're all alive actually. But you're supposed to check and make sure they're all alive. You want to cook them. You want you want to throw them into water alive. Uh, they don't suffer or anything. It's almost instant. So you just want to throw them in and we're going to cook all this together boiling until the crawfish turn bright red. That's how we'll know it's done. All right, guys, so we got about 20 crawfish in there. Cody's right now just rinsing them off. They're all alive. We didn't have any dead ones. So the live well did a good job. We only had them in there for an hour or two. So we're just rinsing them off in the strainer. Our water's in this boiling, and we're gonna season our water. Add in all of our food, and then we're gonna boil them up. All right, guys, so the first step here, you wanna get your water boiling, and we have ours boiling here. And you're gonna season your water before you put anything in there. And what we're gonna use is actually some of this Old Bay. It's great for any, really any seafood situation. So, take some of your Old Bay. Put a good wanna, bit in there. I wanna get them out of that. That's good, probably. So you got the Old Bay in there. We're gonna put some salt in here. This is sea salt. It's a little bit stronger than normal salt. And we have some garlic pepper here. Put a little bit of that in there. And the last thing we're gonna put in is some lemons. A lot of people just squeeze the, the lemon juice in there. What we like to do, squeeze some juice out and then you just stir the whole lemon in there. You don't eat these whenever you're done, but it just kind of gives the all the food a, a, a special taste and just kind of helps out with everything. So once you got all this stuff in, you're gonna let it boil a little longer and then you're gonna put everything else in. All right, guys, now got our side food here that we're throwing in the boil with this the reason we're throwing this in first is because the crawfish probably won't take that long so we're gonna throw these this stuff in first and then we'll throw the crawfish in here in a little bit and then all we're gonna do is wait till the crawfish turn red and then we'll start eating just a couple but that's all right so, yep, like I said, we're gonna leave that in there a little bit, and then we'll throw the crawfish in. stuff all boil for a little over 20 minutes it's almost looking done in there so now we're gonna add the crawfish because they should be done pretty quickly okay we're gonna grab a big one here nice big one drop them in there and we're just gonna add them one by one just to make sure 100 percent that we're adding only live ones in there and not any dead ones because you don't want any dead ones in there just like any type of seafood you would cook So we're gonna add all these and we're gonna wait till they turn bright red and then they'll be ready.
you guys. So we let the, the side dishes in for about 20 minutes before we put the crayfish in. And then we put the crayfish in. What do you think we left them in for? Like 10 minutes maybe? Yeah, probably a little under 10. And the way you can tell they're done, they're supposed to float and they're supposed to be bright red. Here's one of the bigger ones we caught today. That's what they're supposed to look like. So we're gonna get these out here, put them on a plate, try them out. All right, so we got our plates made up. We got some sweet corn, some small red potatoes, kibasi, and of course the crawfish. And we got some butter to dip the crawfish in. Should be a great meal. All right, guys, so we're gonna go in for our first bite of the crawfish here. I've never had it. Cody actually has had it before, one time, right? So we're gonna try our first bite here. So I need that part. Don't make the yellow stuff. Yeah. No. Some of these were a little smaller than we probably should have kept, but yeah, that's alright. There's the first chunk of meat. Oh yeah. Tastes a lot like crab. Does it really? Mm-hmm. It tastes like crab, yeah. I'm not eating these. Sorry, it's taken me a while. Never done this before. Did you twist it to begin with? Yeah. Yeah, that's a good piece of meat though, that's a nice little part that you get the yellow part. Looks like it. I butchered that one. All right, we got a good, good bit of meat here. First impression. Tastes like crab, doesn't it? Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, I did that. You told me that was. I mean, it tastes like any shellfish, really. Mm hmm. That was good. Yeah, but that definitely would not uh, be a whole meal. If you I got a bunch of them. Yeah, yeah, if you had a ton of them. And I'm sure with all the other stuff. Yeah. You got kibasi and everything. That's how you're supposed to do that. You twist that tail off right, the mm -hmm. line, the poop thing, or whatever it is, intestines, or whatever the heck it is, will come out with it. Wow, that shocks me how good that was. I definitely think this, we cooked them at a good time, too. They feel like the right texture, I think, don't you? Mm hmm We heard somewhere, too, that if you are just cooking the crawfish by itself, you can, uh, Put them on ice right after you're done immediately and that should help the meat be separated from the bone a little bit that's really good oh, yeah. yeah that was definitely fun to get out there and catch these and cook these up and i think it's definitely worth it that little bit there is those, those are pretty good i'm gonna try some of the other stuff now i think it turned out great real quick before we end the video uh, just wanted to say real quick that uh, some people will actually purge crawfish down south and basically what that is is they'll run them through like some uh, clean water just to you know make sure there's nothing like you know bad in them or whatever I don't really know down south they have to do that but up here we got these crawfish out of a pretty clean creek and we didn't have to do that they were sitting in a bowl of like clean water for I don't know like 40 we ran them through a strainer too yeah we ran through a strainer too and rinsed them off and everything but we didn't really have to do that for these crawfish because they weren't a pretty clean creek. And we just wanted to let you guys know that in case you're down south, you do have to most likely do that depending on where you get your crawfish from. Well guys, this turned out to be a very great success. I don't know what Jacob thinks. I think this is totally worth the time to go out and catch these. I mean, there's not a lot of meat on them, but they really are delicious. Yeah, so if you're planning on feeding a, a family or if you have a get together and feeding a lot of people, you're gonna want a lot more crawfish, but for just the two of us it worked out great and i hope you guys had a lot of fun today i know we did 
Hey, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to check us out on Instagram at Texas Hall Outdoors. And don't forget to check out the link we dropped in the description earlier this morning for free range coffee. It's a great way to start your day and just a great all around business. So we'll catch you next time on Texas Hall Outdoors. Bye. <laughs>